Hi, I'm Eva Longoria Parker. And I'm racing for Wonderwall. And we're gonna win. The Rally for Kids with Cancer was a, a concept that was done in Toronto that raised a lot of money. And they came to LA and they wanted to do it for LA to benefit Padres Contra el Cancer, which is an organization that I'm the national spokesperson for. And I thought it was a really fun way to raise money for charity. It's just really cool and creative and it gets people involved to fundraise. I'm here tonight to support uh, Padres and my castmate Eva Longoria in this wonderful uh, charity to support kids with cancer and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. The reason why we're all here today and the importance of it is because these kids have uh, nowhere to go without help. I think that anytime uh, an individual in whatever sphere of influence, uh, Hollywood or business or whatever, uh, when they can utilize that influence uh, to give back for a good cause, I think it's very, very important. I am a celebrity navigator, and I will be drafted tonight, hopefully by Wonderwall, because they're the, the top fundraiser. I'm real excited about driving a new Tesla. Uh, as you know, it's a 100% electric car, and um, excited about having it on the streets and moving around Los Angeles in it. I don't have the best sense of direction, I would say, so... But I, you know, I have some people on my team, so they'll probably help me navigate. Oh, we're not releasing that information. I, I could be navigating, I could be driving. I certainly wouldn't want Eva, you know, having any home field advantage. Shut this guy up, stop it. Like literally, that's what's gonna happen tomorrow. <laughs> we know where we're going, okay? We don't need you, Scavenger celebrity. Scavenger master. Celebrity navigator. You have to navigate for the driver. Navigate for the driver. She gets lost going to the store. I, uh, grandmothers and I have one thing in common. <laughs> Well, if I don't know my east, west, north, and south, is that good or bad? Would that, no? Right now, I'm listening to Sarah McLachlan on the, on the radio. I just love her because the beat, and it just goes with driving fast. We have two different personalities here. Yeah. I like listening to sports or nothing. And she likes- And I like listening to either NPR or music. So that could be the only thing that we argue about tomorrow is who has charge of the radio dial. Find My Way Back to Tennessee by Billy Ray Cyrus is, is one of the hit tunes out there right now that I'm enjoying. Britney, that's fun. Yeah, well, we like, we uh, like pretty much everything. Yeah. For me, when pop, I'm driving by myself, I listen to Spanish music 95% of the time. So yeah. the two I don't Latin stations Spanish, here. So it doesn't go very far when I'm in the car. Yeah. I listen to Top 40 very loudly and oldies over here. <laughs> but I had a Land Rover, uh, what was it, Discovery? It was pretty cool, it's like a seven seater and I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm very small, I'm five foot nothing, I'm like five foot four. So I was like driving that for a while and then I had a Beamer before and I like had so many speeding tickets and it was like really crazy and then I went to traffic school and now I'm a great driver. I drive a Bentley and a Ferrari. I drive a hybrid. I have a Lexus hybrid, that's what I drive. I have a Jaguar a convertible 1965 and I have a Lexus SUV. I drive a Mercedes and Jean drives a truck and um, you know, nothing too racy. I drive very fast. My friends say that I drive like a teenager still. Long time ago, but you know, credit where credit is due. Winner of the 1990 Long Beach Toyota Grand Prix in the pro celebrity race. So uh, let's just say that the need for speed and victory is in my blood. Grandmother Lane, I'm a horrible driver. Please, separate car is the key to a fantastic relationship. I'm not that fast, I'm a really, really safe driver. Like I drive like an old lady, so I didn't really want to, <laughs> I wouldn't win. So I'm like, I don't think I should do it. For the kids, I don't think I should do it. The best road trip that we've ever been on was our honeymoon. We uh, we went camping through the Southwest and had oh, six states. Yeah, six different states. And we would camp. We would go hiking during the day. Then we would go to a spa, get a massage, get cleaned up, go to dinner, and then go back to our tent. It was really kind of the best of all worlds. I used to drive motorcycles uh, when I was younger, and my ex-boyfriend and all my friends had motorcycles. So we used to do in, in Venezuela these great trips that could be you know, a weekend of three, four days, and stopping in places. It was just, it was a lot of fun. Those are uh, times that I uh, 
that I do miss. For me, a road trip back then, I lived in Massapequa, Long Island, which is kind of the, the southern border of uh, about middle of the way out on Long Island. So to go out to the Hamptons, that was like going to Egypt back then. So yeah, we took it on a few road trips. It was fun. We went camping once in a uh, sponsored RV. That was fun. Horrible. And uh, a bear visited us oh, on horrible. our campsite yeah, and yeah. destroyed the tent. We did take a road trip to Vegas before. That was one of my favorite road trips with my girlfriends in my little Ford Festiva car that I had that sat that sat two people and we had 13. And uh, it was stick shift and it cost like $6 to fill up. And we literally thought we were not going to make it to Vegas because it was like puttering, puttering the whole way to Vegas. But it was a, a memorable, memorable trip.